Batman is an interesting character. He's had so many film and TV and comic interactions throughout the 75 years, but why do we love him so much? Today I'm going to investigate Batman through two cinematic lenses, Snyder's and Nolan's. Two critically and financially successful films, both have created two Batman films and two unsuccessful critically and financially. Both have dark situations for Batman and some would even say two dark Batmans. One successful, one not. Let's look into this. I'm Patrick, and welcome to my office. Roll that intro. Other than the animated series and the Mask of the Phantasm, it is the best Batman ever brought to the screen. In Nolan's Batman, his heart and drive is the most major quality. He has no heart like no other in this movie. Batman takes Gotham on his back multiple times and defeats the Ninja Terrorist Bane or defending Harvey's true past. A dark knight that I love so much and that resonates with me and many of my friends is this line at the end of the movie. Because he can take it. Because he's not a hero. Watchful protector. A dark knight. In this trilogy, Batman also has a drive. Batman begins, we see his parents get shot in that iconic scene in Crime Alley. But unlike in other Batman movies, it's important to see what he does with this. When Batman comes to back to Gotham after attending Princeton, he attempts to go and kill the man who killed his parents. Bruce comes to the conclusion that his father would be disgusted with him, and why would he ever do that? He throws the gun away, and in this scene, we see that... Batman follows rules and has morals and is not a deranged psychopath, unlike that, you know. The last thing that makes Nolan's Batman so special is that Batman is not a deranged dark killer, it's the city around him. Like in other Batman films, Batman isn't dark, it's the villains he faces. He's shown to have a moral code and knows if he's going too far, this Batman cannot control himself, even against all odds. Now that I've laid out the argument for Nolan's Batman, let's take a look at this hot garbage. Roll that thing. <laughs> I you almost took my face off. I hate all the DCEU, but we're not going to look at the DCEU as a whole. We're going to look at the portrayal of Batman in these films. Batman is portrayed as a murderous older Batman without morals, and he's so paranoid that he will kill Superman just for existing. Batman in the comics always looks at the evidence of the case and always looks deeper. Hence the words gr world's greatest detective in these films. We have no subsex for why he's like this. You can infer that Jason has died, but if you look at one of the better animated movies, Batman Under the Red Hood... He has kept that anger in and hasn't shown, especially since he, has since he hasn't killed anyone. What, your moral code just won't allow for that? It's too hard to cross that line? No! God Almighty, no! It'd be too damned easy. All I've ever wanted to do is kill him. A day doesn't go by when I don't think about subjecting him to every horrendous torture he's dealt out to others, and then... And him. Truly, what would be a overview of his Batman without this horrendous scene? I mean, if you, if, if Batman in this scene, if Batman didn't kill, if Batman had a moral code, the scene kind of would make sense because he's getting over. He does. He needs to kill this man to, to let humans survive. But he doesn't look into it. He doesn't care. He didn't do any work. He's not done the research. He's clearly not Batman. Batman always does the research. That's the point of his character. Okay, roll this clip. You were never a god. You were never even a man. You were letting him kill Martha. What does that mean? Batman 
was never about the toys, the gadgets, or even the wacky and cool villains. He seeks love and justification for his mission to cleanse all criminals from Gotham. But he never does this while believing in this justice system. He keeps this so that he won't lose control. But when we have Batman who kills and seeks to cure Gotham of crime, when he created the crime, he we have that Batfox Batman is wild ethics and revenge shield mission. No one is the better Batman. That is the case closed. Thank you for watching this video. I'm working on an idea for my own DCU, and I probably have a, an impossible Teen Titans screenplay inside that universe. If you want to check out a proto version of that, check out my Instagram at Comic Office. All right, until next time, please like and subscribe to the video to justify my mission of giving us better stories and more unique storytelling. This is Patrick signing off. The office is closed.